folks, it's Sunday. You know what that means? The Margu campaign is live. Welcome aboard. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's there. If you want to join us in Discord, it's there. Most importantly, if you want to have a seat uh, in one of the games, one of the talk shows, let us know and we will get you out there. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, oddfishgames.com. Uh, and speaking of oddfish, these guys are are the oddest. Uh, and they're going out on the water today, so it actually just kind of all meshes together. Uh, folks, if you haven't seen this campaign, uh, it features normally six. Uh, two of the players are out, uh, and they have heard a rumor of a lost city being discovered off in the jungle, and they have opted to go investigate. Uh, last week, they were in Arkpool, and they had a few things to take care of, which they mostly did. Unfortunately, Pete's Pips was closed due to some unforeseen incident so our uh, resident gambler Felix uh, was unable to get his uh, extra dice I think I'm not sure what he was gonna go for he did however manage to get a very pretty mermaid dagger uh, <coughs> along with something else probably but we'll go into that a little bit later let's go ahead and meet the folks uh we'll start up with frank senior frank senior who are you who are you playing today i'm frank senior and i'm playing leaf the druid anti-druid kind of set shit on fire <laughs> <laughs> next up is aj felix or aj whatever yeah. uh, you know i'm just gonna spoil everything so <laughs> um, that's okay. You know, my name is AJ. I'm playing Felix the Rogue, and I have eight oranges to start off with. Thank you, Man Fang. That's not the only thing you found in Art Pool. Uh, middle Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm playing Robert of Zeppelin, and I am Middle Frank. I'm Robert of Zeppelin, the uh, Bard, Master Craftsman of Bard. You know, uh, Copious V. Bitters the Third probably should have hired you to sing his praises, uh, or not. So many people. <laughs> Instead of all those other bards. A oh, lot yeah. of bards. A lot of bards singing the praises. He, he, uh, would, uh, he would not have liked the uh, stories I would have spun. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're going to hear his version quite frequently, I would imagine. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Uh, last but certainly not least, our youngest member of the contingent, uh, Frank Trey. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Man Fang. I am a dragonborn fighter, a man who has one pillowcase stuck to his face and minus eight oranges. I, I'm sorry. You seem a little bit disturbed by the loss of fruit. Now, were you forced to give that away? What? Were you forced to give that away? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> now, as we alluded to earlier, these guys came to Ark Pool to go ahead and find passage on a ship vessel. Uh, fortunately, Leaf uh, was able to go ahead and successfully obtain one from a ship captain named Commodore 64 uh, on the vessel the harlot uh, they are leaving not that afternoon they are leaving the following morning at first light so these guys all needed a lot of sleep especially after an afternoon jaunt through the city <clears throat> Manfang looked up dr bellagio to try and get his facial deformity uh resolved uh to it he got a paint job and that paint job is going to be found on his pillowcase uh felix the rogue had a uh dalliance uh shall we say with a busty barmaid uh right before her we'll call him common law husband beat the hell out of a couple of berserkers and then eyeballed felix fortunately the magnificent weapon that he obtained earlier helps allow him to escape uh copious v bitters who is not here managed to hire every freaking bard in the nation to go ahead and spread the word of his new name copious the courageous um robert of zeppelin and haggis cropstein or haggis cropstein 
crap stain, uh, took care of the well-earned zonkeys from their previous adventure uh, with the resulting uh, small little tiny problem of Robert Zeppelin killing a zonkey thief. Uh, fortunately, he was exonerated by the captain of the guard who's still picking orange rind out of his back of his head uh we rejoin these guys as they are all together again uh outside the guards robert have gone ahead and cleared you you are exonerated for once i i, I must be losing my mind and uh <clears throat> you guys have achieved uh some lodging i believe yes uh so you have the choice of getting an early night's rest chasing down more oranges, even though the farmer's market is kaput for the day, hiding from future dalliances, and not getting your zonkeys killed. They are currently in a safe stable uh, nearby the inn. So we will start off with you four. What would you like to do today? It's we, uh, six o'clock-ish. Are we on the boat yet? Well, no, we sail at first light. We're to be at the boat at first light. Only Leaf knows that. I'm passing that on to you, Felix, and Robert, and Man Fang. The arrangements have all been made. Have they? For me. <laughs> have they? And it'll cost each one of you 10 gold pieces. Jesus! 10 gold pieces? Or you can stay here, and we'll see you when we get back. Uh, five for you and five for your zonkey. Oh, five for the zonkey. Okay. You want to go for five gold pieces? Leave the zonkey. Absolutely not. With a kiss. I think zonkey hide would make a nice cake. I <laughs> had to kill one person. That albino zonkey hide that I got. I bet you would like that. I don't have an albino zonkey hide, so that's okay with me. I do. All right. Our albino zonkey hide. I, I want to get something to eat, and then I'm going to... I want to eat and make sure I can find lodging. We've got oh. lodging at the inn here. Oh, we lodging, are where we're at right lo now. Lodging has been obtained. Would you like to go back to the Blue Oyster? Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. The yeah. You recognize the bar name? Yeah, so. I do not remember the Blue Oyster. Uh, you were not there. Okay, you were so. at the uh, Rusty Knucklebone with Lonnie the Louse and gr the lovely Griselda. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. Well, I know, that Felix, if you'd have been at the Blue Oyster, I'm sure you would still be there in the basement. Now, the Blue <laughs> Oyster was where uh, the Admiral Akbar looking dude, Commodore 64, was fish at. Head. Fish heads, fish heads. He was getting hemma drunk. But they, the smell was good, so, you know. Was Why there a lot of people wearing leather there and quite adventurous? The bartender was wearing chain mail and nothing underneath it. Yes! <laughs> Thank God for small rings. <laughs> <laughs> and the dance floor was lively. You know, can we just, you know, just say for, you know, the sake for Jason that we're going to pawn him off at the Blue Four <laughs> Oyster for, you know, drinks and stuff? He's just going to be... That and there was a bunch of boys playing leapfrog all around the dance floor. <laughs> I, I, I will speak for Jason, and I will say that Copius is anxious to go back to the Blue Oyster to see how his uh, three bard associates, uh, the Marvettes, did with his jingle. Oh, they're going to love him. <laughs> he paid a lot of money. He saved you and everybody else. And... Or you can go back to the uh, first one that he went to, and that was the Gilded Lily. Of course, there's a, another bard in that place <laughs> that he paid. You know what? I, I'm going to follow the uh, little ring a few of the places Jason went and go have another conversation with the bard that are speaking his praises. With a little bit of coinage in my uh, bag, I'd like to uh, see if we can edit a few of those conversations that was given. Uh, I, I'm sure Copius would have gone ahead and explained how he's he his marketing skills were off the charts, and oh. he has actually arranged for alcohol distribution sales at both the Gilded Lily uh, and the Blue Oyster. Uh, I want to talk to a few bards. 
I got to change the story. Uh, quick edit. Which one would you like to go to? The Gilded Lily with uh, Gilded Anna Lily. Lynn or the Blue Oyster? We'll finish at the Oyster. We'll start with the Lily. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you uh, you said start with a Lily or end with a Lily? No, we're going to start with the Lily. and end with <laughs> uh, You start with a Lily and Copious immediately separates himself from you guys and goes over to talk to a rather attractive half-elfin bard uh, to see how she has done with his story. Uh, everybody give me a constitution check. Let's see if you like what you're smelling in here. I can always eat. That's thank you. Constitution. Eight. Oh, I don't know. Plus three. Okay. Sixteen. You got fourteen, Frankie. I got nineteen. I got fourteen. Everybody but Felix seems to like what they're smelling. Felix, it's not bad, but it's a lot like liver and onions. He doesn't like what the sun is cooking. Opius loves this stuff. Of course, of course he does. He's high, he's high on life right now. I know. Well, when Copius is done talking to the bard, I'd like to have a conversation with the bard. Sure, that's fine. A uh, couple of minutes, uh, the waitress comes over, uh, would like to take your orders. Uh, food is reasonable, and food is uh, reasonable in price, uh, reasonable in quantity here at the Gilded Lily. Sure, a little food, drink, food and wine. Food and wine. Drink. One gold piece for, every, or for each of you. Uh, they'll bring it over. Copious will be coming over. Let's see how he likes it. Nobody cares about that. Ecstatic. He is ecstatic. He points out that uh, Fauna Lynn is just a master wordsmith and uh, or mistress wordsmith, as the case may be. And she has, in his words, nailed it. So if he's left there, I'm going to go over and have a conversation. With him. Sure. Uh, she'll ask you, uh, are, are, are you with the great and powerful Copius the Courageous? Why, yes, I am. Oh, well, how's it feel to be one of his underlings? <laughs> well, see, that's, that's just it. I, I, are you one of the ones that he saved? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've heard the story's been mistold. And, but, you know, I hear there's a little fee for corrections of stories. Uh, he's, unless I was mistaken, he seemed to be uh, very happy with the rendition that I came out. Uh, did he well, send you over to make the changes? Got to make the changes. I told him, you know, oh, great one for your actions you've done. I'll pay for the editing fees. Okay. Uh, which, which part of the editing uh, did you uh, need oh. changed? He, he's feeling guilty for lying or you know not telling the whole truth about his courageous effort to save us all but more of how he wants to come out of how he, he cheered us on and inspired us to fight from behind my skirt hmm. okay so get behind and let <clears throat> the back of the pack she whips out her quill and goes oh, okay I, I so you led the charge, not him. Oh, not him, but us. He stood oh, back. All of you, all of you. Oh. As he stood behind us, yes. So he was guiding your actions. He, he was directing them like a captain would do. Well, it's <laughs> feel good. You could say that. It was more of uh, ching, 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 ching. Uh, it was more of he was hiding. I mean, standing back, watching. How much are you dropping? Uh, start with one gold coin. Yeah, she she does a a little scratch there. Go mm. on. You know, but you know, it was the rest of the group. <clears throat> see, so, see, you have no idea how much he he threw down on these guys. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just slowly adding money until I feel like I might have made some corrections. Okay, every, have, every gold piece, you're gonna see her scratch something out and do a revision. Let's just drop a 10 gold pieces down. Hmm. A lot. But if you could rework it, I trust in <laughs> I trust in your words to put it straight. Uh, he stood back and cheered us on as he cowered behind. I mean, stood behind as the four of us, or it'd be five of us. I don't want to leave uh, shit stain out. But uh, 
you know, led the charge to protect him from. The so big- it was you. You all led the charge of the light brigade. Yeah, oh, he was. Oh. He just, you know, I felt guilty, and I said, you know what? You've been so good by sharing your fine wine or ale, whatever that slop was. Uh, that <laughs> you take care of it. Okay. That's true. Man, Fang, you might want to take notes. The charge of the Light Brigade will be on a test at some point in time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe I can make the adjustments. He authorized this? Oh, yes. Yes, but his guilt and shame has come out so much. That's why he's back there drinking. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if he notices you feeding your side of the story. Uh, 11. Three, he is just glowing with the rendition that he has heard so far. You could be killing somebody and he would not give a crap. <laughs> uh, you, ha- after dropping a total of 10 or 11? Total of 10? Uh, she will make some revisions. Uh, that That is fine. I will make some uh, revisions in my accounting book. There you go. Uh, with uh, dinner consumed, uh, <clears throat> you guys... Uh, Lee, Felix, Manfang, uh, if you'd like to ask Robert what he was doing, you're more than welcome to. Copias will be sitting at the table. Or you no, may I... you know what he uh, was Robert, doing. you were over there a long time. You having to write you a song, too? I was having to write and make sure we are well taken care of in the songs that she does write. Just speaking the truth of a uh, fellow bard. Copius does not care. He is on cloud nine. He he heard her initial draft and he is a thrilled. <clears throat> so that's fine. Uh, I think you just let me know. I plan on doing this in multiple taverns. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, no, I, I completely yeah. agree. I, I just whatever it's gonna cost me, I'm I'm pretty up to it. Just give me a rough idea. I, I have no idea that you will <laughs> spend every <laughs> gold piece you have to really rook him uh everybody really took the bug out in about half not nowhere near what he's done but <laughs> real heavy in gold right now that's fine perception everybody yes. <clears throat> natural 20 that'll probably be my only one this entire game oh yeah well i got 13 17 20. 20, uh, natural 20, all four of you hear the door creak open and you see three dudes, big hulking dudes that look like they have had the living crap beat out of them. These guys are a little rough around the edges, kind of barbarian-esque, one might even say berserkers. Uh, And they stumble into the bar. Let's see if they see Felix. One. A natural one. Uh, the one leading the pack, at his eye is like a cauliflower ear. I mean, it is just swollen shut from the beating that ensued. Uh, the three individuals sit at the first table right next to the entrance uh, and, like beaten puppies, order food and drink as well. Uh, from your roles, you can hear that they're talking about the beating that they received over on the main drag by some jealous, angry boyfriend, common law, husband, something. And they're pretty sure they got thrown under the bus by that one dude. uh, uh, Robert, imagine how big this son of a bitch is that beat these three berserkers. (laughs) At the same time. (laughs) At the same time. (laughs) One punch and I was spell. I was figuring Carl Droken. (laughs) <laughs> or I, I, I was Andre the Giant. I believe it was described that their chin hairs, uh, the chin hairs of the individual, were sitting on top of Felix's head. More like Mountain, the guy off of the Game of yeah, Thrones. Game of Thrones, thing. yeah, yeah. So big guy, but these three were the first to feel his wrath, taste his wrath, and be punished by his wrath. And apparently, there's some dude that they're blaming. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I think I have a guess. So yeah, I'm gonna try to just mind my own business here for a little while while the food digests. Maybe I'm gonna eat one of these oranges as dessert. 
<laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. You know what? You don't even have to roll for the orange. It's delicious. <laughs> and you Perfect. know what? Yeah, it probably protects you from stuff like scurvy or rickets. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, well, dinner. Never eats oranges normally, so. Dinner set. It was his idea too. That was the weird part. He came yeah. up with the idea on his own, um, and, and explained it adequately. I, I mean, I was truly impressed. Uh, well, gentlemen, the dinner's over. It does not look as though uh, Fauna is going to be performing tonight. She continues to scribble furiously with her quill, scratching out some items, readjusting. Uh, seems to be very lost in the moment. Uh, Copius announces that he is ready to go and uh, thanks Fauna for her efforts. And still, I mean, it's going to take Dr. Bellagio to carve off the smile on his face. He's really thrilled about that first draft. Probably not going to be thrilled about draft number two. Yeah, I as well am ready to go. Let's yeah, I'm I'm ready. Gonna try to slip out the side exit or something to get oh there's no side there. exit here <laughs> uh then I, i'm gonna try to just sneak out i will take a stealth check from felix the rogue as everybody else is completely clueless as to who these dudes are 13 eight uh you slip out uh without any of those three giving you the time of day uh where would you like to go now it's say 7 o'clock let's go to the next pub uh, let's go to the next pub and get our sea legs on like stores open or are they all like closed no down they're all closed they're, they will all be closed at night right. uh next uh pub up is da -da -da, da -da -da, the blue oyster <laughs> Uh, <laughs> as you walk in, uh, Robert, D12 against me, please. D12! <laughs> One. Eleven. The Marvettes are not currently here. And that is the important one. Uh, however, uh, Commodore 64 is here, and he is hammered hammered uh his first mate the tabaxi calico uh <laughs> he'd be a hammered head he would be a hammerhead nicely done uh the tabaxi calico first mate is there with two other sailors trying to get him out of there uh he is not going to be able to make it under his own power this fish is hammered uh robert what you don't know that maybe leaf will explain to you is uh commodore 60 foe is under some kind of curse and that's why he has the fish head uh the marvettes are not present however at the next table to your north uh there are some sailors and they are singing a catchy tune oh uh, the tune goes, with my apologies to every fan of music, uh, here comes the hero, here comes the big number one, C.V. Bitters, a hero who is second to none. Just say C.V. Bitters and you've said it all. Here comes the hero of all. So lift your glass and let's hear the call. C.V. Bitters, that's the one that's leading the rest. And Beechwood Aging makes his beer the best. One taste will tell you so loud and clear. There's only one C.V. Bitters finally brewed beer when you say bitters there's nothing left you can say a brew so good you'll all want to pay and they crack their mugs together so vigorously that it fractures them and spills the liquor over and they all give a resounding huzzah at the exploits of this cv bitters person it's a lot like the uh, budweiser jingle <laughs> 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 I'm going to grab Robert by the arm and pull him close and say, don't start nothing with the sailors. They're from the ship that we've got passage on in the morning. <laughs> I want to get left. And that's their, that's their captain over at the bar, the one with the fish head. 
He's been cursed. What are you gonna do, Robert? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna step away. <laughs> um, As you step away, everybody roll perception checks. Eleven. Mm. I got I got a six, and he got a your, your perception. Twenty-one. Perception. I'm stupid. So you got a nine. I got a nine. <clears throat> and I got an eight. Felix? I got an 11. Uh, Leaf, you notice two lovers in the corner uh, eating spaghetti out of each other's <laughs> mouth. Uh, you do not recognize the couple. One appears to be a hulking giant. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The other lady is a very buxom brunette uh, who appears to be a little, little bit tipsy at this point in time. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. well, to... Should have went to the end, boys. Uh, the sailors again with this stupid jingle. It is, it is caught in their head. It's like the Brady Bunch thing, which I also got to be honest, I looked at. Uh, <laughs> they, they just keep going over. Oh, here comes the big number one. Uh, and it's going to be a reoccurring theme. Hey, guys, let's I'll go to a, someplace a little quieter. Unlike the previous thing, Copious's smile actually wraps completely <laughs> around his head. And he's like, they're talking about me. <laughs> that was money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> And then he looks over at Robert. He goes, <laughs> "Oh, what I'm doing for the rest of the night." Yeah. And he found the Marvettes and beating them to death. I, <laughs> I am going to spend whatever I have to to get to shrink this gnome's head back to where it's normal. <laughs> oh, good luck! I, as uh, Felix pointed out earlier uh, in the earlier episode, I don't think you're going to be able to get copious's head out of this bar without butter because that thing is we'll need a witch doctor okay yeah. he is going to be in the macy's day parade <laughs> oh, oh, he'll look like uh oh crap family guy the little one Stewie. 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 <laughs> yeah uh everybody go ahead and roll constitution checks for me please no not this time six 14. Eight. Eight. Uh, whatever their servant here is not smelling good to any of you. Wait, didn't All right, I, I, but song, the alcohol is cold. That song's turning my stomach. I gotta go. Oh, and yeah. it's it they, they keep going. Uh everybody perception check again for me, please. There we go. Frankie got a 19. 19. 11. 26. 26. Robert? 50. Uh, Leaf, Robert, and Man Thing all hear the stray word <coughs> zonky uh, discussed over at the next table over. Ooh. I think I'm going to walk over to that table. Really? They don't have any oranges. Are you sure you want to go over there? <laughs> <laughs> Oranges. I don't. I'm right now. I don't got no oranges. Quietly move towards that table nonchalantly. I'm gonna let the uh, the rest of the uh, right know that just the guys at the other table were talking about zonkies. I'm gonna go and try to see if I can slip up a little nonchalantly and listen a little better. How big are you? <laughs> huh? How big are you? I'm uh like six foot. I'm five foot six. Yeah, you two, you should two, you two should be fine. Go ahead and roll. Uh, we'll call it stealth check. Please crit fail. We both got threes. No, I got seven. Oh, sorry. Let me look at my stealth. Plus, oh, sorry, four. <laughs> uh, Manfang, uh, D twelve against me, please. I will say that my four wins. Manfang gets up and quietly moves over until he bumps into the waitress. Odd, she spills it on the floor. 
even she spills it on the individuals talking about the zonkeys. Who <laughs> the shitload of mugs goes tumbling onto the individuals discussing the zonkeys. Uh, Robert makes his stealthy approach by kicking a chair out of his way. <laughs> uh, the three individuals are just uh, clumsy witch. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you looking at? You might want to go wash that off. That shit will, will literally eat the clothes right off your hide. Why is this some of that bitters bullshit crap that we've been That's hearing about? That's exactly what it is. I like these guys. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, I'll see. Uh, all three of them, uh, uh, yeah, they go out outside and around back to uh, find a local horse trough, and they're going to go ahead and wash off their tunic before it uh, eats off their I Heart Copious Bitters tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to follow. Okay, they're outside. They're ringing it. Uh, they're ringing their tunics off. Uh, they look at you kind of eyeballing them and uh, they're a problem, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you like watching dudes wash themselves or something? <laughs> uh, no, I heard your guys' conversation in there. Oh, yeah, so cool. you're just spying. No, it was a loud place, and you were speaking really loud. I just happened to admire zonkeys. That's uh, okay, friend, you ever seen one in real life? I have. I've seen an albino one. That pale zonkey rider. Friend, pale rider. <laughs> you're a liar. There ain't no such thing as an albino zonkey. Ah, that's how rare they are. Apparently, you've never really seen some of the high-quality zonkeys. Are you calling me a liar? Oh, this is getting good. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on a second. Man Fang, did you follow Robert Zeppelin out there, or are you just going to... Yes, he did, because he's whispering. Why are you watching them? Are you gay? <laughs> I'm not bone up there. I don't care. Uh, Felix and Leap, did you go out with your two associates or just let them do what they want? Oh, I see him going out. I'm going to follow him. Just for uh, I better follow him too. But stand behind the wall. And listen. Felix, you might want to roll a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Crippling is right. 13. 12. As you get up, <laughs> uh, the large individual does not recognize you. She does. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check to see if you hear what she says, Felix. Let me get the good dice out here. I've seen one. <laughs> you hear Squatola as you follow Leaf out. Uh, Leaf and Felix. Clearly, it's getting a little bit heated around the corner. Uh, you certainly can hear Robert, and you can certainly hear the three zonky aficionados uh, getting kind of belligerent uh, with your two associates. Uh, what would you like to do? <clears throat> did we hear what their, did we hear the word albino zonky? Did we hear any of their conversation, or are we just walking up, listening to them getting heated? That's fair. Leaf and Felix, go ahead and give me a perception check, please. One, I didn't hear anything like this. <laughs> you this dice. 23. Uh, Leaf, you can hear the discussion on the albino zonkey, and you can clearly hear the three amigos stating, uh, are you calling me a liar? So you can tell it's getting a little bit tense. Uh, apparently, uh, Helen Keller with you can't hear or see <laughs> shit tonight. Well, <laughs> so let me you probably well, lead him by the hand. <laughs> yeah, let I'm me check sure. my let me check my uh, my druid skills. See if I can throw my voice. <laughs> yeah, I think Fire. I might be a little. Uh, I might uh, be a little distracted. Something's dark, kind of it's, on it's my mind. It's dark out here. Oh, yeah, it's dark. Oh, I'm sure you're distracted. 
<laughs> you know what? I bet it gets worse too. You want to bet? <laughs> I know this type of woman, AJ. She likes to stir the pot, shit pot. Yeah, I'm lovely. So, can you throw your voice? Nope. Dang it. Uh, Robert, you've been called out. Are you calling me a liar? Well, that that calling you a liar, sir. I'm just a purveyor of the finer things, all things zonky. We got the hyper from the And when I hear somebody speak of zonkies, my ears perk up. Because Some kind of zonky aficionado, are you? I do have a tendency to collect. Special and rare zonkies that, up. that albino's just mind. somehow appear. I magically appear coin. You one of those uh, adventure types that came in on the zonkies, are you? I do not bring my zonkies about. My zonkies are stabled back in another place. But I keep my ear out and look for zonkies everywhere. Well, do you have one of them uh, albino zonkies? I might have an albino zonkey. You don't. Not here, though. <clears throat> well, I think, unless you're yellow, that you ought to show me one of them there albino zonkeys. Felix, perception check. If you, if something happens to my 16. zonkey. Uh, 16, you hear the snap of a twig behind you just as a firm hand cups your right buttocks and you hear uh oh hello love he <laughs> 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 be behind you oh boy i'm gonna turn around very cautiously because i think i know who this is i'm that's gonna her, her common law husband, husband this time that's my thought is she <laughs> i'm gonna turn around and look to see is she alone as the monkeys would say, it is Griselda, and she is currently alone with a big smile on her face at the sight of you. Uh, all things, just like in the bar where you continue to roll ones, disappear as to whatever the hell Robert, Manfang, and Lee for getting into. Uh, and your focus is on the lovely Griselda. Well, hello, my lady. And come back so soon. I will follow you almost to the ends of Arkpool, my oh, love. Oh, you are so screwed. Uh, perhaps did I see you sitting in there with a gentleman caller? Oh, he thinks I'm his wife. Yes, I <laughs> had that impression earlier today in the square where he was making a ruckus. Trying to make it up to me. He's trying to charm me. But as we all know, if my pantaloons are going to be charmed off, it's by someone who's dashing, much like yourself. Oh. Robert, uh, the three amigos are like, so are you yellow? Or are you going to show us your your uh, your albino zonke? I can take you and show you. Say no. But the location, I cannot show you. If you'd like to go. You must be hooded, and you attach yourself to each other, and I will get you there. <clears throat> so you're telling me, <laughs> you are telling me <laughs> that you, watching us rub water all over ourselves, wants to put a blindfold on us and lead us somewhere for a non-existent albino zonky. If Boy, you have you been hit in your head? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm stabbing this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't work out well. <laughs> Everybody me. initiative. <laughs> well, Night, that's... Boy. Night, or... 21. Darn it. Natural 20. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, five. Sorry. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice dice you give me. Hey, we aim for the best. Yes, uh, you do. 21. Uh, lead us not into temptation there. Oh, I got a plus one, so I'm 21 also. 
Uh, Leaf and Robert, do your worst. Uh, 20 to hit, non natural. Oh, easily. Yeah, these guys are 13s. Oh, crappy roll. Six points of damage to the one talking to me. Uh, the mouth breather. Oh, yeah. Not for long. Uh, Leaf, uh, you're up. Now, uh, Jeff, now, are you actually stabbing him? Who, me? Uh, no, Robert. Oh, Robert. With a long sword through his windpipe. <laughs> I'm slashing with my scimitar. Okay. Yeah, and 15 to hit and five points of damage. Uh, same one or different one? Different one, whatever's in front of me. Okay. Odd even. Even. Uh, you are fighting number two. Number two. Robert, Robert is on number one. Uh, the 11, Felix. Uh, perception check to see if you can hear the uh, sword play behind you. The worst roll of one. Nine. Uh, Griselda seems to be elongated today, uh, and the <laughs> batting of eyes seems to have you distracted as she yeah. wipes, wipes the food particles off her lower lip and eyes you like a sandwich. Alex, this is just like uh, <laughs> medicine. The first dose didn't take. She's going to give you another. Yeah, well, the first dose hasn't fully hit yet, so <laughs> I think I'm going to go for another. I don't know what's going on behind me. You do not. So I'm going to lean in and just whisper to her, oh, perhaps we should step away for a minute and uh, find somewhere we could be a little bit more private again. There's the privy right over there. The privy? <laughs> really? What a classy lady. Hey, no, I, I know what it's privy is. <laughs> No, 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 no. The thought, she, her thought is it'll mask the smell. Ooh. <laughs> and, well, the, and, and the grunts will go unnoticed. <laughs> it's strange. I got this odd taste for tuna now. If that's the only place around. That is the closest place in town. Give me a stealth check to make sure that her hulking lover is not quickly approaching. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're that. 17. Oh, uh, you slammed the door and she is all over you like uh, I, uh, fat kid on ice cream. It, it is. I think stink on poop would be a better expression. <laughs> uh, be very fitting. Uh, or, the yeah. sign on the outhouse flips over and it says, if this box is rocking, go away. Uh, <laughs> back over to Man Fang with the five. You and I tied. So these three uh, hooligans ain't happy especially after being stabbed in town Ooh. you know what so i'll um, let you go first we tied since i'm not, <laughs> not gonna pull out anything because that might waste time i'm just gonna take my fist and pop them right in the nose you have acid breath i do but i don't think that'd be the best idea right now i don't want to if i have a certain amount do i have to have a certain amount no oh, you still naturally produce it out your body then still know but it, it has a recharge time of five six yeah, but it's been a while since uh, oh yeah yeah you're fully recharged i don't want to i want to punch him in the face all right okay. punch him in the face are you going after the one that hasn't been hit yet uh yeah i guess so yours is number three 15 Ooh, i did man. say a one there a second ago <laughs> that does hit well, and you were been... using non-lethal mm, an arm strike so you got a six damn what do I roll with? I roll oh, it's just six damage? Is that what it is? Doesn't have a dice roll, it just says six. Uh, I, I usually do uh, for punching one to four, kicking one to six, improvised weapons one to eight, including gnomes. Uh, so go ahead and roll a d4 and add your strength modifier. Where's your d4? And you only have to get him to half hit points to TKO him. Strength modifier, eight points. Popped him right in the nose. Nicely done. Uh, Felix, uh, she is a starving child that just got a bag of chips thrown at her. Uh, go ahead and give me a performance roll as you heave ho. <clears throat> gotcha. 
16. Uh, you are completely oblivious to the sounds of mayhem outside the stench coming from below as a variety of unusual posing is going on inside this uh is it like is it like is it like what what was that book from austin powers remember the book from arma sutra yes (laughs) (laughs) yes he's uh working his way through pages 20 through 37 inclusive sorry at 43 inside the medieval tardis uh Oh, oh, wait a minute. I haven't attacked yet. <laughs> These guys are not happy that you're stabbing them. Uh, except for Manfang's guy. He's, he's, he's going to duke it out with Manfang. So, Leaf, uh, 10 plus 3, 13. Muted, Leaf. Muted. Again. You missed. Robert, 12 plus 3, 15. Missed. And the old puncheroo as you're going up against Cassius Clay. Oh, that 20. Oh, Man Fang takes one of those face. Oh, my gosh. Bam, seven damage. Wow, <laughs> my face. The blood is just caught in that crevice. <laughs> it's channeled. Top of the order, Leaf and Robert. Natural 20. Damage, reroll damage, add modifiers. Uh, 13 uh, does not hit. 16 with my modifiers. 16 does hit. 15. Damage. Yep. You have managed to kill a second person in Arc Pool. Congratulations there, Ted Bundy. Five. Uh, your guy is hurt, but he is not down yet. Uh, Felix, uh, give me a stamina roll. Uh, D20 and constitution. I'm going to make chili out of the bastards. A one. (laughs) (laughs) Where am I right there? That's good enough for me. (laughs) Oh, story. Let's see how she's doing. You'd almost think she rolled. He sent you loaded dice, don't you? But that's the way it feels. <laughs> she, uh, she is going to continue with you. On your, <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's got her ass on the door. You ain't leaving yet. Uh, there is still some reciprocation that is going to be required to go on. Uh, that's my snooze move. You you would be, <laughs> maybe you can cuddle. <laughs> yeah, no. Fang, go ahead. Do your best. Punch away, son. Punch away. Can I like? Are you? Why do you keep punching? Come oh. on, do it. Come on. No, no I'm, 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 I'll ask this bit because he wanted me to last time. I'm gonna ask him to spit at him. What? No, just punch his ass. Fine, right, I'll punch him. You punching? Be a man. You roll. No, that's fourteen. That's a hit. Sorry, I thought it was a <laughs> 15 is a hit. I thought it was 13. Then I'm just swinging an air. Oh, sorry. You oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, 13 is a hit. My bad. Okay. I'm gonna roll your one die. Don't be so complicated. You're being so complicated. Roll your one die four and add your strength. Goodness, son. Eight points again. Uh, that is going to knock him out. Nice. Uh, man fang. It's the steel. Oh, goes with the <laughs> uppercut and so knocks much. him out. Okay. Uh, Man Fang, you and I tied though, <laughs> so I'm still gonna get my punch in. Uh, you ever see the end of Rocky Two? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leaf, your guy's still alive. Whew. Uh, I'm guessing a six doesn't get you. Yeah. Okay, Man Fang, let's see uh, if you can do it. Nineteen plus three. Uh, this guy is a connector. Two hit points. <laughs> but your punch knocks him down. Uh, Felix, uh, <laughs> uh, Griselda is satiated at this moment. Uh, gives you a great big sloppy wet kiss. Yeah. Opens up the door. D12 against me. Uh-oh. Oh. Let's say one. 
Five. Six. Uh, oh, she goes, I can't go yet, love. <laughs> this is gross. Come, come back over here then. Why not? Oh, you're you're in. <laughs> oh, we're right there. Oh, yeah, it's it's close quarters. Uh, Manfang, Robert, Leaf, roll perception, please. Six. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, uh, boy. Nineteen. Nine. 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 Uh, Leaf, you hear somebody coming up behind you, and the moonlight is blotted out as this enormous individual comes around the corner and goes. Hey, have you seen a, a, a girl about you here? You here? <laughs> I'm kind of busy. I haven't seen anybody. Yeah, those guys were loud anyway. Hey, have you seen her? I have not. I think no. she was going to go to the bathroom. I had checked down the alleyway that she might have walked out. I, yeah, I didn't see anybody. Yeah, me neither. We're stopping middle of coming. Hold on one second. What's there? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you pointing him towards the outhouse or just down the alley? Down the alley. Down the alley. I didn't even notice the outhouse. When we well, I'm just saying that way. I don't that care. Way. I'm busy. So it's, it's that, try down that way. That's fine. Uh, Felix, it appears as though your associates have done you a solid as the hulking individual walks outside of the tavern and disappears from sight as the lovely Griselda peeks out the open door, gives you another kiss. And uh, runs back into the tavern. Before she leaves, I'm going to offer her an orange to <laughs> pick up my one on performance. And while I'm shuffling through my sack of oranges, I'm going to realize that some of the environment around us has soiled three of them. And I'm going to give her a clean one and discard the remain the three of them into the privy. I don't care what anybody else says. You, sir, are a gentleman. <laughs> yes. So now I am down to only three oranges. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, and Robert, give me perception checks. Three. No, not me. Uh, Eleven. Ooh, nat, natty 19 for Frankie. I see all. Uh, Manfang, you notice a busty young lady uh, similar to what the hulking dude was looking for exit the outhouse and head back into the tavern and then you hear three very loud plops <laughs> oh, oh coming from an outhouse I coming from the out. outhouse <laughs> so you aren't really sure if she came from the outhouse but you are aware that somebody is in the outhouse and they are Dropping something the size of oranges. <laughs> I'm gonna go look in the outhouse. Okay. Uh, you know what, Robert of Zeppelin, roll a d20. I'm gonna roll a d12. If I beat you, you're gonna hate me forever. Okay. Seven. Twelve. Okay. The song of copious v bitters is not stuck in your head at this time. <laughs> I was going on a murderous rampage. Okay. Um, uh, I, excuse me, but don't I still have a guy that's alive in front of me? <laughs> I'm waiting to do my thing. Uh, no, yours is dead. Oh, okay. On that All next right. round. Uh, Manfangs, however, is still alive. Oh, he's that's unconscious. Cool. Uh, we need to finish him off. No, he must be escorted away into a darker alley. I have questions. <laughs> All right. Uh, Man Manfang, you open up to see Felix the Rogue uh, repositioning himself, so apparently he was the one dropping oranges. Literally. Why the... Why you... What, whoa, whoa, whoa! Didn't you see the sign said occupied? Dude! Wait, 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 wait. Oranges in them. That's not polite to open the door on someone. I left my sock on the door handle. Come on, man. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> the girl that, that the big guy was looking for. She, <sighs> she, uh, big guy. She walked in. A big guy. Yeah, big guy. Uh, huge guy. Huge, the guy was, huge freaking guy. Big guy. Here. <laughs> well, where is he? Did you see Boondock Saints? He's some freaking huge guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney Alley. 
that alley? That alley. <laughs> How far down the alley? <laughs> Is he coming back? Like, what's going on? I don't know. If you give me those oranges, I'll tell you. <laughs> Did you see which way Griselda I, went? I, I left your oranges in the crap. <laughs> there, yeah, there's three of them down there. I want the bag, and I'll tell you. Uh, no, these are my oranges. <laughs> Can't take them back. Uh, I mean, I can always go. Where did Griselda go? Did she go down the alley with him? Hey, if you want, I can go get the guy and point out where his woman was. Yeah, I can hear that. No, 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 no. But you know, uh, maybe, I, yeah, maybe for an orange, I can forget that. This whole hey, was that was that that was that that woman that big guy was looking for? Hey, Mister. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give you an orange. Just yeah, no, you didn't see anything, nothing yep. like that. Never Actually, I am, I will give you the oranges. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to give you the oranges. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's go back inside. Yeah. If I, I'm just going to check the oranges to see if I get any see anything. There's like nothing wrong with these oranges. Oh, I threw the gross oranges into the crapper. Trust me, you didn't want them. Did they have any disease on them? They had poop on them. They had poop on they them. They got a lot of poop on them now. The uh, aroma wafting out hits your uh, dragon board nostrils. I'm going to run, take the oranges, guys. Guys, you know, I hate to interrupt us, but we need to get out of here before somebody finds these dead bodies. Hold on. Dead bodies? What did you guys do? I was only gone for 30 seconds. Yeah, thanks for all your help. <laughs> 30 seconds. I don't know. Yeah, we need to get. The first guy and sit him on the crapper in the uh, outhouse. Yeah, the conscious one or the dead one? The, the first the conscious one. We're going to pull his pants down. Then we're going to bring the. Whoa! They were right about you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. He the other dead one in a very conspicuous way. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to take the unconscious one and we'll just drag him back to the room or down over somewhere quiet and dark. Down the alley, he it's our Felix. We'll take him down the alley. I just want to have a little conversation with him. We can have All it right. right here once we get rid of the bodies. I have this wonderful technique I learned in Quampado Bay. So, you want to take the guy dissing you, throw him on the crapper, and pull his pants down? Yeah, what are you doing with the second dead guy that was on leaf? Uh, he's going to go in the same crapper on his knees, and I'll let your imagination take over. I got it. Okay, visual achieved. And then you're going to drag the third guy down the uh, alley. We're going to leave him by the trough, and, and I'm, and I'm going to try helping him out, you know, with my magical abilities. I have this uh, horse blanket right here, zonkey blanket. And uh, I want you guys to hold him down with his head back over top the uh, trough. Uh, just hold the blanket over the top of his face. We got a water water boarding. Hey, be, before you do, I want you grab one of those oranges out of the crapper and shove it in his mouth so he can't talk right away. Oh, oh. yeah. Wow, this went dark. <laughs> We're doing it now. I ain't reaching down in there. <laughs> this is very O Dark 30. And I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take some of the oranges, like the the oranges that are in the crapper. Try and wipe them in there before. Wipe them around in there. Before. And you know he's gonna make you roll to see if you fall in that thing. Oh no! No, it's a bad idea. Oh, sir. Card laid, card played. Give me d twenty yep. as you roll the rim. <laughs> oh God! Wow, what a crappy time to roll a six. It's Literally crazy. crappy. Uh, the good news is you successfully wipe some residue onto the orange. However, you also wipe it onto ah. your hand. <laughs> That's gross. I'm going to take it and run over there. <laughs> Fish Games is happy to be our sponsor right about now. Oh, good. I'm going to put it down and stick uh, my hand in the trough. I love a and good dimension game. It. And try and wipe it off, and then take the knocked out guy and wipe it on him. 
Okay, so Mayan Fang, I don't think you truly grasp what an outhouse is, but it's not like a bowl with water. In no. It. <laughs> yeah, you, you are not going to wash anything off in the outhouse. I'm not. I'm running back to the trough. Oh, oh, well, then by all means, yes. That, oh, he poisoned the trough. Yeah. He's shoving him in. The next horse is going to have diphtheria or something. Yeah, gotta get some <sighs> okay, so you. Outhouse. Zero yes, get on it, Roddy, right. this guy. Uh, Robert, you're leading this mess. Uh, give me a D12. <laughs> or demented. Four. Seven. Yeah. Uh, everybody roll perception check. Oh, not good. I got an 18. Maggie did good. Ten. Felix? I also have the stuff. Oh, and I didn't else roll. I didn't need to. Robert? Oh, you need me to roll? Yep. Uh, perception 12. Uh, as you guys all go ahead and orchestrate this very chaotic, evil scenario, uh, Man Fang notices a cloaked figure in the alley opposite of where the hulking figure went. It appears as though it might be an urchin or a demi human watching this all unfold. Just gonna, I'm just gonna like put the orange down, try and wipe my hand off and like the dirt of the grass. Anyway. You're not gonna uh, interject just for a moment. Uh, how does passive perception work? Um, uh, I don't know to be honest with you, I never use it. Okay, but I'm gonna just wipe it off, wipe my hand you off, washed off. it off in the all right. Oh, sorry. sorry, then I'm just gonna say, What are you doing down there? I'm just gonna ask, you're talking to the cloak figure, yeah, okay. Uh, they kind of sink back into the shadows. Uh, Leaf, Robert, Felix, uh, you notice Man Fang talking to Air and realize, uh oh, there's somebody here. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, are you, are you waking up? Man, that was a nasty fall you took after all that drinking. Persuasion. Uh, <laughs> oh. Nine. <coughs> Guards! <laughs> Look at that. The person in the alley. Mm -hmm. Damn it. All right. Can I just try and say. You guys yeah, know the on. motto. No witnesses. Uh, <laughs> Do it. Do it. As hard as I can. Falcon punch. Yeah. I so think I'm going to. Crack on my fist and then punch him. Everybody initiative. Uh, yeah. I want to do that. I'm going to do that. There we go. That 20. There's a wasted roll. Wait, sorry. 16. One. I, I, got an, I fumbled my initiative. I got a nine. Six, one, and nine. Uh, so I had a 16. Right. Mine. Okay. No, he had I a had six. six. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, yeah. I fumbled it too. <laughs> I had a oh. nat 20. Uh, the cloaked figure begins to run in. Tiny little steps. Leaf, uh, with a 16, you are up first. Tiny little steps. You're thinking halfling, thin gnome, or human urchin. You really aren't sure. Oh my God. And you know what? I'm not sure either. So I will say, okay, I know what you're chasing. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <sighs> One second. Sure. I like to stir the pot that we call D and D life with waterboarding. That's isn't waterboarding. Waterboarding, poopy oranges, uh, uh, harlots it's in the copper. Waterboarding, the, like the, like to interrogate someone. Well, uh, you, you know, I, I was down in Cuba. Everybody accused me of being torturous. So I guess I'm just following through with it. But isn't waterboarding like illegal for like yes. interrogation and stuff? It's just a smidge. You know, I was in Tijuana in the '80s, and you guys mm -hmm. make that look like a music recital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leaf, what do you want to do? Ay, 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 ay. Punch him like I did. Oh, he's I'm gonna chase him. Okay, I guess. What's your movement speed? Uh, at this point, I'd like to say it's about 120. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you would like to say that. <laughs> I'll take a more realistic estimate. 
30. <laughs> walking. You're walking 30. Yeah, you can double dash 60. 60. Or you can dash 60. Yeah. Fair enough. The nine, man fang. All right. Um, I am going to also shape after the um, small person. And your <laughs> movement speed is? Exact same. It's the same. So 60s. Okay. Uh, next up is the not quite so fumbly six, Felix. <coughs> Felix D12 against me. Let's see uh -oh. if we can make life interesting for you. Now, what, before we do this, I think it's important to remember that I gave the remaining oranges back to Manfang. Oh, yes. Okay. It, it'll be easier to divide your loot. <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh, good. Seven. Uh, there, there are no, uh, shall we say, entanglements approaching at this point in time. Uh, what would you like to do? I well, everyone else is running. I'm, I'm gonna run too. My speed is sixty dashing. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, as you hold on to the unconscious, the unconscious individual, uh, you see your associates uh, give chase. For I'm gonna put him in a trough and uh, face down and give chase. Fair enough. Uh, what's your movement speed? This is everybody else. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Leaf, you're the first one to round the corner. You notice that the small subject is knocking over boxes and various debris. Uh, you're going to have to make two DC 12 uh, dex saves in order to keep your current rate. Uh, first one's a nine. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to roll the second one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you stumble over a group of boxes. Uh, nine, Man Fang, you now have three rolls one for the first <laughs> obstruction, one for Leaf the Druid on his face, and the second obstruction. Six. Now there's four obstructions. Uh, well, it seems to be a pileup after round <laughs> one. Oh, God. Felix, uh, you're going to have to give me, let's start with the first one to see if you can clear the actual obstruction before you hit the wall of flesh again. <laughs> Gross. Does this get any modifiers or is it just straight Dex, up? Dex check or Dex. Uh, 18. Uh, you vault over the rolling barrels. Now you have to dodge the two individuals so give me another one the six <laughs> into the pile <laughs> uh, robert of zeppelin i might as well just... you got you got a lot of met i there's just bodies everywhere next to start okay every everybody collides uh, Whoa. Whoa. except for felix who uh does the man pile on for some reason uh you see the individual yeah squirt out of the alleyway and hang a right towards the dream i have gold for you oh, that person is gone hey guys he's gonna get the guards we gotta disappear i think maybe either back to the inn or maybe we should just go ahead and head for the boat load the zonkies up now yep sounds yeah we gotta go do we want to go back and chill out for a little bit? Because there might be fresh and hot on the trail. Or you no, can... let's just get the zombies and get on the boat. Money well spent at the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you go to the stables. You're going to have to wake up the guy who is not going to be happy. We don't care. How about a little uh, you know, something? This on you, Robert. You pay. We can give him some oranges. Yeah, we got some oranges. Yeah, let's give him some oranges. Uh, Felix, D12 against me. A four? A two. Uh, uh, my wife's always bitching that I don't get her anything. I'll take the oranges. That'll work. Uh, he and leads you over you. to the... <laughs> he leads and you over... Give him the oranges. I'm gonna give, gonna him the... give him all three? He's going to give him the one no. that I put down on the bed. And say, accidentally spilled Just give him the oranges. <laughs> give him the oranges. <laughs> hmm? He takes the three oranges. Uh, he leads you over. He uh, unpadlocks uh, the door and uh, 
I, I will say that Crabstain and Copious came out of the bar shortly thereafter and met you there. Uh, why are we leaving now? We paid for rooms. Why are we leaving? Oh, go ahead. We can stay in the rooms. Uh, Copious and Crabstain will stay in the rooms. Uh, they will be by to pick up their zonkey in the morning. Uh, you guys take your zonkeys, head down to the dock, I assume, looking for the harlot. Yeah. yeah. No, Beautiful. she's back at the Blue Oyster. Uh, no, actually, there's, there's I, I was at the harlots. harlots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you arrive at the harlot and you see the sailors are having quite the time taking Commodore 60 foe up the gangplank. Uh, anybody want to help? Yeah, I'll absolutely. Help. I, I, I'll help. Okay. I'll help. Uh, the, the first mate, Calico, who is also a Calico tabaxi, uh, appreciates the kindness. Uh, you guys help them. The zonkeys wander the deck, I assume, or is Felix going to hang on to them? Felix can hang on to them. You can hang on. Okay. You guys mm -hmm. uh, help get uh, Admiral Akbar down <laughs> into his quarters. Uh, he's going to vomit. Uh, <laughs> one leaf, two Robert, three man fang. Uh, and I'm rolling a D8. Man Fang is covered in vomit. <laughs> That's a three. <laughs> and you smell that. Uh, you smell like aged eggs and alcohol as uh, Commodore 60 foe vomits all over you. But you do manage to get him in. You tip him over on his side so he doesn't asphyxiate. Uh, Calico says, <clears throat> thanks. Uh, you guys are a little early. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get your mount stowed, I guess. Uh, now remember you didn't originally make arrangements for that. So you're going to have to pay up. So it is 10 gold pieces per head. You can pay that. You said you got a lump sum of cash. There are two staterooms available. Uh, and so you guys are going to have to decide who's bunking with who after you load your zonkeys into the belly of the harlot. Uh, uh, I call leave. Okay. Manfang and Robert, are you going to bunk up together? Are you paying in? Because unless you've got some cash, you got to pay. Ash, cash, or grass is how an old saying goes. Nobody yep. rides for free. That's, That's right. it, baby. And before you even get <laughs> the room, you're getting in the swill of the bay. To watch uh, he needs to go take a bath before he gets in the bay. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, that's why I, I called I, I, You know, Felix was thinking outside, inside the box. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask if the calico person has anything I could change into. Or do I have like something I could like? Just go with? wash. Get go wash. wash. You know what? I don't have changes she, she the clothes, man. She, she says she's got some swabby clothes available for you. Um, and there's a bucket at the back of the ship you can wash up in. Yeah, hey, barrel boy. Fine. I'll do it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> your outfit was made for a tabaxi, so it's going to have nipple holes all the way down oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in front of the Oh, oh, hold on. The waterboarding was okay. Felix getting it on in the outhouse was okay. Yeah, but me saying there's a, a nipple thing. That, that's way <laughs> off. That's way off the line. Okay, I got oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> line crossed, accepted. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get into bunk. Give me constitution checks to see how you sleep as the ship kind of rolls to and fro. Oh, also, before you do that, how about we have Robert of Zeppelin roll Perception? Okay. I got, I got 19. I got 18. I slept like a baby. The king, here comes the king. The, 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 here comes the king. Here comes the king. One of the sailors cannot get it out of his head. <laughs> okay. Man Fang sleeps well. How do the other three sleep? That's <laughs> great. 20. Not natural. 13. You're fine. Uh, 17. Robert, you two are fine as the words drift off into your head. Uh, the next morning, you find copious feed bitters and haggis crab stain 
loading up their zonkeys on, along with a lot of supplies uh, being loaded at the very last minute as you're going to play drill. I will take perception check at disadvantage. Oh, wow. oh, I fumbled that. Oh, does that mean without our bonus? or That means uh, two die, take the lowest. Okay. Then, yeah, I get one. 20, 17. Then, yeah, I fumbled it. And Robert? Six. Leaf, Felix. Commodore 64 has a cabin boy. Man, that guy's familiar. <laughs> oh, I heard it could be. He's a little young gnome guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> as, uh, as you guys all meet up on deck, uh, Copious Feet Bitters, Haggis Crabstain, Felix the Rogue, and Leaf the Druid all take one look at Man Fang and his, I'm going to cross the line again, nipple vest. <laughs> I just want to know, he's a dragon born. Has he got enough nipples to cover the hole? I'm going to say he's just got a center row. <laughs> so it's all <laughs> kind of cockeyed. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Commodore 64 yells out, toss the lines. Ah, toss the lot. Get us out of here. Uh, the sailors all cast off the lines. Uh, the wind billows in the sails of the harlot. And you guys are out of arc pool. Uh, Felix? Felix? What, about, what about our oh. friends? Are they still snoozing in the end? No, no, no. They have, they have arrived. They, uh, Felix, do you want, who do you want in our stateroom? Haggis? Say that again. Who do I? Which do I, one of them do we want in our stateroom with us? I would go uh, for the big number one. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, let's take copious. Here comes the hero. Here comes the big number one. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea to keep him and Robert apart. Yeah, Robert, probably for the best. 12 against me. Let's see how the sailors react to having a true hero on board. Well, that's a one. That's a nine. They do not recognize copious v bitters as the big number one. Okay. <laughs> uh, you got, you guys put out of port. It's going to be a fourteen day trip. Uh, Man Fang, give me a D twelve, and then Felix, give me a D twelve. Barrel boy, D twelve. Twelve. Barrel boy rolled a twelve. Felix. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, oh, no eleven. Man. Most of the trip goes uneventful. Uh, you pass through, and let me go ahead and throw this up here. Uh, let's show you where you be going. So, um, as you can see, you are starting from here. Yep. In Cragwich, not Arkpool. I don't know why I keep calling it Arkpool. Uh, Let's see here. You are going to leave Cragwich, go up through. Uh, you did have a job there that was available, and you're coming around the corner. Uh, on day five, uh, instead of going through the Straits of Ozcut, uh, Admiral Akbar slash Commodore 64 has pointed out that there has been a significant rise in piratanical acts here as the countries of Ethos and Ethar are currently at war with each other, he has opted to go the long way around, uh, taking you into dangerous waters. Uh, after seeing narwhale, whales, pods of dolphins, uh, a few sea elves, which uh, deal with the captain exclusively, uh, you reach the deep part of the sea. Uh, unfortunately, there are three ships spotted uh, around high noon as the call goes out. Uh, you guys all reach the upper deck and point out what's going on. Uh, one of the individuals, odd Captain Even Calico, odd, the captain tells you that there are three vessels on the horizon uh, and they believe it's going to be pirates. 
Are they pursuing or are they in front of us? They are in front of you going due east. Uh, he's trying to hang back, but the winds are with you, and he does not want to be late to play drill. Uh, the closer you get, the more disgruntled uh, Commodore 60 foe becomes, as he has something called a telescope. It's a really cool thing that extends out. Uh, he got it in a magic shop along the coast of Dre Glary. Uh, and he points out that this is going to be a problem. Uh, he hands it off to three, Robert of Zeppelin. And he goes, tell me what you see, uh, because I think I see a problem. Robert, he hands you the telescope <clears throat> and points to the three ships. What do you see? Give me a roll. Perception. Or I'm sorry, investigation. 13. Ah! Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, you notice that two of the three ships bears the standard of the bull, uh, commonly known as Minos Pirates, a.k.a. Minotaur. The third ship seems to be lagging behind and bears no standard whatsoever. I'll tell him that then. I think... Uh... We got treble ahead. That's kind of what I think. I'm going to try and dodge this as I see a heavy storm front moving in, which will probably hit on day 12, miraculously enough. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, D20 against me. 14. Only a 16. Uh, the two ships bearing the standard of Minos are quickly outdistancing the third, which seems to be lagging behind. It is evident to you and the captain that you will come up on this other ship. Uh, within the hour, the billowing sails have uh, propelled you forward at a rapid rate, uh, and you are coming up alongside of the ship called the Constance. It bears no flag. Mm. Mm. And give me a perception check, or give me an investigation check, everybody. On this ship, are there actually like cannons for like defense purposes? Mm -hmm. There is only one ballista. All right, that's 14. 16. I got a zero. You rolled a one and you got a negative. No, investigation. Yeah, investigation. Where's my investigation? It's under here, under I. Yeah, investigate, investigate. Hey, looks I got a zero. I got worse than a fumble. I got a zero. Nice. Uh, Felix and Leaf, you notice that the ship ahead of you, the Constance, uh, appears to be slowing down on Poipus. Haha, <laughs> get it? Poipus? Poipus? Poipus. Uh, and you do not notice anybody on the deck. Let's go. Davies Jones locker people are going to die. Yep. Probably. Uh oh. Uh, Felix and Leaf, what do you think? I'm going to tell the captain there's there's nobody on that ship. You appear to be... Wait a minute. And begins barking out orders. Furl the sails. Prepare for battle. Uh, small shadows start to disembark from the Constance and fly at you in a very uh, pointed kind of uh, design. And the Constance yanks hard to port uh, to seemingly cut off your ship, the Harlot. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, 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 oh. 16. That roll initiative. Your last one. I know. 19. 13. Oh. Yeah. 14. Uh, okay. Pair of 19s, Leaf and myself. It appears as though winged kobolds have fled the Constance oh. and are coming right for you. Uh, I'll let you go first. There are six of them. The wind's at our back, right? The wind is at your back. Okay. I'm going to do poison spray in it. 
Uh, DC is 15 on that one. I will allow you to get all six. Uh, DC 15. Uh, yeah. Beauty of having a lot of dice. Courtesy of Pirate Dog Dice. Mm. Uh, what do I need? 16? Yes. Three down, three saved. How much damage are you doing? Doing. There's no modifiers on that, is it? I don't think so. 10. Oh, yeah. You. Oh, actually, you, only, you don't put any of them down. Uh, and they are going to drop stones on you guys. Uh, there's six of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? Uh, Copious will be five. Haggis will be six. Five. Four. Manfang. Five. Copious is going to get his ass beat. You know, I've I got to retract, Frank. The uh, range on that's 10 feet. They're farther away than that, aren't they? Uh, they are closing on you, so I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, that was a three, by the way. That is Felix. A one and a one. Uh, Leaf, you take two. Manfang, you're going to get one. Felix, uh, you're going to get one. So uh, dropping stones on Leaf. A nat one. Uh, nine plus five, 14. <clears throat> Does 14 get you? Uh, 14 is my armor class. So no. one will hit a uh, seaman, one will hit you, uh, Felix. 16 plus five is 21. Manfang, you had two. two uh, 17 plus five and a 10 plus five. Does the 15 get you? 15 misses. Okay. And I'm sorry, only one of those went after Man Fang. So the 15 misses him. Uh, the two are on Copious. Uh, I'm guessing a 16 hits Copious. I believe so. I don't know. If not, it hits him today. Uh, <laughs> everybody who got hit takes six hit points of damage. And that is enough to knock the sailor from the harlot. Overboard, man, overboard. We go to the 16, which is Man Fang, who surprisingly did not take one to the face. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm going to get out my. Wait, are they on the ship? You shoot that ship. They're flying above, dropping stones. They will be descending next round to engage in melee. Oh, three right. are injured, three are not. How far can I aim up that ballista? Or whatever that thing on the ship was. Uh, the ballista will not be able to hit them. It will be able to hit the other ship as it begins to cut you off. How Who close is that ship? It's out. closing about 30 feet away. It is well, clearly trying to intercept. I'm going to use my longbow. Okay. On the flying kobolds? Yeah, the flying people. Fair enough. I die eight. It's the pointy diamond. Nope, that's nope, a 10. Nope, nope, this, yep. 13 yeah. to hit the kobolds. You got a roll of hit. I fumbled. Uh, you know what? Roll a d6. Uh, once again, copious is five and crap stain is six. Or you know what? Roll a d8. Seven and eight are going to be sailors. Damn. Eight. Uh, now roll odd or even. Roll again. The odd or even. It's even. Uh, you shoot Calico, the tabaxi first mate, oh. right in the ass. <laughs> After she gave you her best dress. I know. You fucking <laughs> went out where you suck out the poison? <laughs> uh, my apology to Felix for just now reading this. That is hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now with Manfang being on the side of the wing kobolds, that brings us to the 14. That's Robert of Zeppelin. Me? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go over to the big cannon and aim at the uh, water line of the other ship, if, I, if that is a possibility. It certainly is. The ballista is cocked and ready to rock. I rolled an 11. I don't know what I get to add to it. 
uh, dexterity because it's a missile weapon, but you only need a 10 to hit the ship. Right. How much is your uh, bonus? My dex plus two. Very nice. Uh, you hit just above the water line. Go ahead and give me damage 2d8 plus four. And the one cannon, right? Or is that two? 14. Yikes. 14 damage to the Constance. Uh, last but certainly not least, Felix. Uh, you can help Robert of Zeppelin reload the ballista because one person it's going to take a full round to reload. Uh, or you can go after these damn flying little monkeys. William Tell, the Felix, the winning Tell. I'm uh, sorry. Oh, next oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's liable to shoot us. There's plenty of other about that sailor that is overboard. Uh, I guess I'm going to throw him a line because I don't know how to sail this ship. We need him. That's fair enough. Go ahead and uh, give me an attack roll to see if you can hit the sailor. Uh, what is the modifier on that one? Or is it Dex. Uh, 17? Hit him right on the noggin with the rope and he latches a hold of it. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Well, uh, you better pull your own ass up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Start of the new round, the six-winged kobolds drop to the deck. Uh, there are other kobolds, but they'll be dealing with the uh, sailors. So, Leaf, you and I tied. Go ahead. Do your best. Noting that if you kill one of us, I still tied you. 18. Hits. Uh, seven points. You will have killed number one, but not before he attacks you. Bring it on. Leaf. Seven plus five is 12, so that's going to be a miss. Yep. Uh, you Did you have two on you, though? No, I had. Uh, I think uh, there were two, and one of them hit a sailor, and one of them hit me with a rock. Correct. Uh Who's the sailor or the one attacking the sailor is going to go after uh, four? Uh, and that is Robert. Uh, so, Felix, you got one. 18 plus five. Uh, this is going to be a dagger. Uh, so, that's something. Uh, Manfang? Seven plus five is 12. No? Robert, you get somebody. Five plus five is 10. And of course, copious V bitters, hero of Soph. Nat one, so another sailor is hit, uh, and a nineteen. So copious is going to take. <laughs> copious. Oh, that. I'm sorry. It's a dagger. Copious is going to take. Everybody who got hit takes seven damage. Four plus three, seven, knocking another sailor overboard. Felix, roll against me. If you beat me, he will be close enough to enjoy the rope. Otherwise, he'll need another rope. What are we rolling? D20? D12. D12. That is a, that is a five. five. Uh, he is close enough to swim over to his associate, who you have kindly donated a rope to 16 man fang these freaking kobolds are kicking the shit out of your party i know i'm just gonna take out my great axe and i'm gonna try and split one right down the middle isn't there one actually attacking me uh there is one attacking you and it is, is on the ground. down on him or are they still attacking they're all on the deck they're on the deck right. and i'm gonna attack him with my great axe okay chop up that deck with a one 19. I'm nice. Nicely done. How much damage? I can. Well die. Die. No. Well, By I the can. way, Leaf, you did kill yours. Okay. Four plus five. Nine. Still alive. Uh, 14 is up next. Robert of Zeppelin, you have one on you. I'll attack. Go ahead. Thirteen. Mm, uh, Thirteen is exactly what you need. Twelve points damage. Oh, you crushed this guy in half because it was one of the poison sprayed one. Woo Two are dead. Uh, Felix, your 
heroism has not gone unnoticed. You have two sailors clinging onto a rope, doing their best to pull themselves forward. You may go ahead and help them uh, by pulling on the rope or defend your mates. Uh, Reload I'm the pretty sure I just got stabbed by one of these things, so they're on their own in the water. Hopefully they can climb the rope. I'm going to take out the, the swords that I got and stab one of these creatures, hopefully. Fair enough. A 17 and a 10. Uh, 17 gets them. Gets them for 7 damage. And you got the other one. He is dead. Three down, three up top of the order there is a ballista just above the waterline in the constants uh odd stay the course even uh adjusting course it adjusts course to the port or i'm sorry to the starboard and it moves off uh leaf you and i tied there are three alive the ballista is currently unloaded 16 hits Like murder hobo ink that's a six seven points uh that is enough to kill the previously injured one however however he gets a shot at me gets a shot uh that one is going after three robert of zeppelin uh the other one four uh man fang and six crap stain uh, so, Manfang, the one that is going to kill you, or the one that is dead, hits with a natural 20. <laughs> Robert, of, Robert of Zeppelin, 6 plus 5 is an 11. I'm assuming that's a miss. I guess Crapstain, 12 plus 5 is a 17. I think that one's a hit too. 1d4 plus 3. Manfang. Five hit points of damage. Five hit points of damage to Haga's crap stain. Uh, we are at Manfang. Here, what are you gonna do, bud? I'm gonna just gonna try. I'm gonna use my acid breath. You got a great axe out. Keep swinging. Fine. I'm using my great axe then. Just give me. Well, let, let him do the acid. I mean, what could go wrong on a ship? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're still at teaching moment. <laughs> it's recharged. <laughs> I'm gonna use my great axe. Okay, you do whatever you want, son. You suck. See, you would have burned a hole right through the goddamn ship with that one. He fumbled. He rolled a one. Mm. Give that boy another dice. <laughs> you know what? Adi's gonna hit somebody, even he does some damage to the ship. Odd. Roll a D8. Hey, hey, hey. Seven is the captain. Eight is the first mate. First mate. Again? You hit the first mate again. Hey, I don't want to kill the calico. She is going to be pissed. How much damage did you do this time? One die, 12. Oh. Where's my There's my Two plus yeah. five. Plus five. She's got the bonus. I don't know. Pissed, sure. And then have it. I, I think I'm thinking I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> so three. Yeah, unfortunately you do not get that choice. Robert of Zeppelin, you are up. I'm loading. I'm using different dice. And uh Felix the Rogue. <laughs> I'm gonna start swinging at another one of these things. There are two left. I will give you even number six. Neither one has been injured, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, 18 and a 23. Uh, both hit easily. One of them is for seven plus six. Uh, what is that, 13 damage? Mm -hmm. That is going to kill it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take uh, the advantage, and the tabaxi is going to walk down and punch Man Fang in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 14 uh, plus 5 19 man fang uh the cat hit you oops 
for six damage. She roundhouses your ass. Damage. I am. Mine might die. You got twenty-one hit points. Top right. of the order, Leaf, and a question. us. Since we were on the water for what ten days or something like that, mm -hmm. seventeen. It's so those points, these hit points should have been recovered by that. Uh, five oh, yeah. points. Easily. Five points. Oh. Got five points. <clears throat> so you started at what, 31? Let's see what the ship does, the Constance. Yeah, so you're back to the three. It is going to escape. Uh, the last kobold remaining, let's see if it'll hit anybody. It is not going to hit anybody with an eight. Uh, so, Man Fang, uh, it's you and the Tabaxi right now squaring off with each other. All right, I'm just going to run away. I'm not squaring up. I don't want to make the captain angry. Fair, fair enough. Robert, you have successfully... Uh, give me a D20, as long as it's not a one, you've successfully reloaded the ballista. Natural 20. Oh, easily. You know what? Uh, I'll give you a shot, and I'll even let you reload. Sweet. I rolled an eight plus, what'd uh, you say? Uh, dex. So that's a 10. Just barely hit above the waterline again, though. How much damage did you do? 2d8 plus 4. Big number. Big number. 7. That's 15. 19 points. Mm, nice. The Constance is hurting. But you aren't aiming for the sails, so she's still moving about. How uh, far you're away is she? Uh, she is 60 feet now. Oh. Uh, that brings us to Felix the Rogue. Felix, there is one left. It is wounded, uh, and the other ship is moving off. You notice that Robert of Zeppelin, being the staunch warrior that he is, has cranked off a ballista shot and quickly uh, pulled the spring back, and he's loading up another one. So he will be able to attack next time. Uh, a big part of me wants to try to send a flaming arrow into those sails on the Constance. <laughs> We're going to go up in flames. Oh, damn. You fumbled so bad. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I have torches, but I don't know if I have a flint to ignite an arrow. Oh, there'll be flame on board. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you can Here run over to a, a brazier, light it, and fire it off. Uh, also, yep. two sailors climb aboard. <gasps> Thank you, my lord. Thank you. We appreciate it. You are just oh. like big number one. Da, na, 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 na. That's right. Uh, so we'll discuss that once I get this shot off. We'll see. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Three sails, front, middle, and back. I'm going to aim for the middle one. That yeah, way, yeah. I don't Go have for the to big one. Them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 14. Hits. Awesome. Uh, the main soul is on fire. That is going to slow it down considerably. Uh, that brings us to top of the order, Leaf. Are we following that ship, or is it turned away from us? It is turned away from you. I suggest we not follow it. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell at the captain and tell him to follow it. I didn't okay. want to follow it. I'll give you I need verbal. to concentrate for a minute. So. Sure, I'll give you a verbal, and what do you want to do? Uh, captain, we... we, we Follow it. We can take it out. Aye, aye. Uh, what else do you want to do? I'm going to start concentrating so I can throw a flame spear at it. Fair enough. Uh, Takes a minute. Kobold is still there. There's still a kobold. Ten, it, ten is not going to hit anybody, right? Nope. Kobold is wasted. The Constance veers hard port. Ramming speed. Uh, man fang. Kill that last kobold. I don't feel so great about killing the last kobold. I don't want to do this. I think you should. Fine, I'll hit it. Fine, fine. If everybody else is doing something. Why don't you do something? I finally hit it. He's yeah. done something. I got an 18. Yeah, he does something to Calico a couple times. Yeah. I'm just going to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and throw an orange back at him. You don't have any more. All right, crap. I, I lost all the oranges. Crap. You've got scurvy, too, by the way. <laughs> These are starting to fall out and everything. Cool. How much damage do you do, Man Fang? All right. Uh, one die. Uh, where's my die? Uh, 
Yeah. Have to change his name to No Fang at all. Oh. <laughs> no Fang. I'm writing that one down, by the way. <laughs> That's five. Fifteen. 15. Uh, no Fang manages to split the last kobold asunder. Uh, everybody hears an enormous crash as the two ships collide. Everybody, DC 14 versus, I'll say, acrobatics to maintain your balance. Oh, I got a plus on that. Nope. Acrobatics at the top. Uh, 17 for me. I got plus three. 15. So 17 as well. Uh, everybody but Felix. Well. <laughs> uh, everybody but Felix, Crapstain, and Copius, who is skidding across the deck, uh, manages to maintain their feet as the Constance smashes into the side of the ship, uh, causing significant damage to both vehicles. Copious will need to roll or he will get pitched over the side. I'm over, I'm over. Copious uh, splash goes in. Man, into we're all out of rope. Yeah, he, got a, he got a one and a six. Uh, Copious V Bitters, Hero of Snow, Copious the Courageous is in the drink. Uh, we will <laughs> He's still courageous and brave. He can save himself. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, we, we will start at the top of the order. Uh, Leaf, give me a perception check first. <laughs> I don't see nothing. Ten. Fair enough. Uh, what you do see is that brazier that Felix the Rogue lit his arrow on has spilled on the deck and small fires are everywhere. Uh, you also notice that the ships are entangled. Uh, what would you like to do? Worry about the fire? Worry about copious? Or see? I want to worry the about the fire. Yeah. Okay. I'll look and uh, for a, a bucket or something, water to put the fires out. There's water everywhere. We can a, pee on it. There's a pee bucket. <laughs> I've been peeing That's fire fine. for the last couple of days. <laughs> There's a scratchy, itchy thing that Felix has got going. Uh, the 19, the Minotaur leaps from the ship. Nat 20, it's ready. Uh, so it has no problem leaping from the Constance onto the deck of the Harlot. Uh, Manfang, this enormous bull creature has just leapt upon the deck that is currently on fire. Screams of hit me, hit me, hit me are coming from copious V bitters. Uh, and Felix is on his ass. What would you like to do? I'm gonna try and hit the big minotaur. Okay, fire at will. What's his? Oh, wait, no, actually, I'm missing a page. Nat 20 damage, damage. And any oh, additives. Oh, great X. Yeah, Die great 12 X. plus five. No, Seven. Roll it again. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah. Four. No. Oh, wait, what? S two plus four plus oh. seven, or your five. Four. Eleven. <laughs> what a new math are they teaching kids? <laughs> so eleven total <laughs> damage. Minus three. There's what I'm looking for. Too. 11 total damage on it. Robert, uh, you are on your feet. You see fire. Hit me, hit me, hit me. And a big ass freaking bull. Uh, to help me, I don't hear. Like it's strange day. how that happens. He's, he's got such a hero, he can save himself. Nice. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm going to go. Shoot that thing. Fire. You can set the other ship on fire. Let's not. Right. Why? What? Robert, shoot it with the arbalist. Oh yeah. Will it turn like that? D twelve against me. Always. Well, D twelve. Yeah. Ah. Eight. No three. Uh, it's not going to turn that way. All right. L lest you shoot your own ship, so you don't want that to happen. No. Yeah. It's already on fire. I'll just do a standard attack, I guess. 
17 to hit? Uh, 17 does hit. The Minotaur captain's AC is 16. Got it. You're going to have a lot of hit points. 11 points of damage. Making it a solid 22. Uh, that moves us to Felix. Get up off your ass. Yeah, I'm going to get up. Unless, unless you can down. do something on your butt. Uh, no, I'm going to get up and kind of, as I'm pulling myself up, and look around for something big and heavy that I might be able to, I don't know, something that's not really tied down that I can swing and try to hit the Minotaur or something. The Brazer. Like, no. It's already empty. It's already spilled. It's empty. Okay. It, it's a, a metal grill pit. It'll do at least 1d8 plus 2 damage if you hit with it. Yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to do is distract it a little bit by pushing something towards it and sure. try to get myself into a better position here sure, for the next fine. attack. So yeah, that, let's do that. I'll do that. Uh, Leaf, give me a performance check. You and I uh, tied. Performance. Yeah. 15. Uh, you put the fire out, but it's going to cost your entire round. Okay. Uh, the Minotaur is going to square up. There's only five of five of you now, since one of you is in the drink. <laughs> uh, the best ten. of us. Uh, Man Fang. Uh, the Minotaur does not appreciate you hitting him uh, in a some kind of weird kung fu move. Uh, he is going to great axe your ass, and you better hang on if he hits. 15 plus 6 yeah. is 21. This thing does 2d12 plus 4 damage. That's great. 7 plus 4 plus 4 is 11. 15 total damage. <laughs> as he gives you an equally nasty gash on the other side. Oh, <laughs> it's cold. That's cold, man. Well, only if he dies. It'll only be permanent if he dies. You got 16. I'm going to run away. You better back out. It is It is your turn. Uh, you may well, back out. Drink a health potion. Do you have health potion? Do I? He does. <laughs> Yeah, he does because Robert, uh, they went yep. on a shopping spree. <laughs> All right, didn't you give me one, Felix? Yeah, for the oranges. No, I did not give you one. You bought one what? from me at cost. That's true. For five gold pieces. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's one, yeah. one D eight plus two, no ones, unless okay. you roll one three times in a row. Why are you? Put all those away. Jesus. Like an old married couple, you know? I, I was thinking Fred and Ethel. 1d8 <laughs> plus what? 1d8 plus 2. All right, so you rolled a 6. Uh, that's not bad. 8 back. Uh, that brings us to Robert of Zeppelin. Yep. 22. I'm Robert, you're up. I'm up. That Minotaur is eyeballing you because it knows you hit it too. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Hit me, hit me. I got to see if Copious has made it. Interesting. I, I ain't got shit for this. <laughs> I'm going to step around and heal the uh, cannon fodder, I guess. Is it a touch? Uh, yes, if it's a heal spell. Yep. Are you healing Man Fang? Yeah, please heal me. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to do some healing on Man Fang. Don't Are you sure you want to do that? That seems like an awful big waste for somebody who's going to be dead next round. Stop. Pretty cool, man. You know, if you do it right, you can actually throw him overboard, hit Copious in the face, and get a twofer. You know, twofer, get it? Twofer, dash <laughs> Uh, You got 14 points. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, with that, Felix the Rogue, uh, you can try and pick up that brazer. First, I'm going to require an intelligence check to make sure you don't grab it by the top half that was on fire. That's what I was waiting on. My brain hole hurt. Ten. Ten is good enough. You realize that the uh, hot, glowing ember 
points. Probably not the best part to grab you. Heave ho this uh, barnacle little brazer. And uh, I assume you want to chuck it or actually physically hit the minotaur with it. Uh, Chucking it is dexterity. Hitting it is strength. I want to try to hit it. Uh, give me somebody to hit. Go ahead. Oh, boy. This is good because this distracts the Minotaur away from Not me. natural 20. Nicely done. What does uh, that hit for? Is it a D8? Uh, I'll give you D8 plus two plus uh, strength bonus. A one on the damage there. Plus one, plus two, four. <laughs> what a waste. Jesus, you and freaking Noodle blew your wad on those. Wow. The low <laughs> There's a little something on my mind. We've been at sea for the last couple of days, and there, there is a string of profanities overboard as hero of the realm, Copious V. Bitters, is proclaiming uh, adamantly that he could use a hand or two. Uh, Leaf, you and I tied. What do you want to do? Uh, you and the other sailors have successfully started to put out the fire. The sailors will continue to protect the deck. Yeah. Uh, you are free to do what you want. Uh, well, I've been working on this uh, uh, flaming spear spell. Sure, because flame goes great on the open seas. Well, I think it does, especially on the other ship. Yeah. So you're going after the Constants. I'm going. I want to create a flaming spear on the deck of the Constants. Fair enough. On the other, as far away from me as I can. Sure. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Fair enough. That thing is going to go up as uh, Felix's arrow shot has already riddled the main mast and sent it down to the ground. So the Constance is on heavy fire connected to you. Yes. <laughs> that uh, happens. I, the Minotaur, know that Man Fang, or I'm sorry, No Fang, has uh, stepped out of range, giving me only Leaf, or I'm sorry, uh, Robert, Felix, Crapstain, uh, and the Tabaxi Queen. I'm uh, actually touching Manfane, healing him, if you remember. Yes, uh, that means you're going to get hit from behind and advantage <laughs> if it's you. So I will go Felix 1, Manfang 2, Crapstain 3, and uh, Calico 4. Dose. <laughs> <laughs> I will be attacking Robert of Zeppelin at of advantage. Add six to the roll. Well, an at 20. <laughs> or a 17. <laughs> uh, this is going to be 2d12 plus Begin. Wait, six. A three and a four. Uh, so three, four, and four. Eight plus three is 11 total as a blade rips through your back panel, causing yeah. a significant amount of pain, bringing us to the now well-heeled man fang. Yeah, fucker, get out there and do something. I just took a whack for you. All right. Um, yeah. Let's try and hit him with my great axe again. Sure. Does freaking acid breath do anything other than just Fit on them. No, you're not high enough yet. All right, keep going. FYI, the tabaxi has also struck him. Good. I'm starting to think we need to get Copius back up here so he can help us attack this thing. What do we? Uh, so we Plus seven. So you're eighteen. So 18 and you hit. I have, uh, nine. Dice. Eight. One die eight or twelve. twelve. August is missed with a seven. Nine plus five. five. <laughs> Fourteen. Eh, that helps out. Uh, got it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Robert of Zeppelin. I'm stepping out of combat and healing my own damn body. Uh, Felix the Rogue with your improvised weapon. The brazer of small damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to put that down. I'm Maybe toss it to the side or something. Hopefully, as a distraction. 
hitting no fang in the face with it. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, uh, D twenty as you throw it away. Let's see if you do hit somebody of import. Sixteen. Yeah, you throw it on the deck. No big deal. I just always pictured that <laughs> it looked like that one like the bar chair, and then the big guy just turns around, looks at him like, "What are you thinking?" Did you want my attention? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I do not want his attention if I can avoid it. Uh, is there anyone else up here in combat with me anymore? Or is there, has everyone yeah. stepped back? A man fang, uh, oh, Robert here. Zeppelin, uh, okay, Tabaxi, good. and uh, Admiral Akbar, yeah, aka I'm afraid Commodore 60 foe. Part of me wants to try to throw a line to Copius down there just so that we have someone else up here on deck to take hits because. I don't think I can survive a hit. I've only got 18 hit points remaining, but I'm already up here in combat. Amado 64 brings the heat. Uh, so you want to throw a line to man or uh, Copius? I want someone to throw a line to him, but I'm up here in combat. I'm gonna there there are sailors you can yell to. I'm going to yell to one of the sailors, throw a line, man overboard, blah, blah, blah. See if they you can roll a Let's see if he can roll a one. <laughs> well, uh, he throws it down to Copius. Damn it. Okay. While I'm doing that, I'm going to... Cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to attack with my short swords on this thing. Ahead. Fortunately, uh, Calico and Commodore 64 are really tearing into this thing. They're not happy at all. Haggis Crapstein uh, couldn't hit a garage with a fly. So a 20 and an 11. The 11 misses. The 20 hits for five. You're slowly chipping away at it. It is really pissed. Uh, Leaf, you and the Minotaur. Flame Blade. On him or are you still on the Minotaur. away at the sails? Okay. No, Minotaur. 16 is your magic number. Oh, uh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. 15 and one, 19. Damage or to hit? That was to hit. Damage? Uh, 5, 10, 14, 16. 16 points. So nicely done. Uh, the Minotaur will go after Leaf 1, Felix 2. Robert three, uh, man or no fang five, crap stain six, Commodore 64 seven, or uh, Calico eight. That's a three. One, two, three. Robert of Zeppelin. <laughs> hey, this is not a combat. This son of a bitch. 14 plus six. Does a 20 hit? <laughs> Does 20 get you? Seems like a 28 get you. Six and three and four. 13 hit points of damage. As again, the Minotaur flings his blade and slashes you at will. Man Fang, uh, your associate who just healed you Means uh, healed. is hurting. I'm going to help him with my no. medical skills. No! <laughs> I will stab you if you come over here. <laughs> you, Frank, you set that up. You knew what you were doing when you said that. <laughs> uh, it's the meshing uh, of the stories, boys. Oh, and Lord have mercy. Um, attack the damn Minotaur. You got the biggest damn weapon out of everybody here. Oh, I have a, I have a band aid. I have a band aid. <laughs> band aid. I'm a combat medic. I took first aid and points out. <laughs> exactly. You need to bleed him. You need to bleed him. He's got bad blood in him. You need to bleed that out. Go right ahead, man, Fang. I'm going to hit him with a great axe. You hit. That's 15. You missed. Uh, that is a miss. Robert of Zeppelin. I'm casting healing on myself again. Felix the Rogue. Let's take another swing with the two short swords. Uh, 16 hits. 16 Ooh. hits. Ooh, for nine points. The other one missed. 86 damage. Uh, Haggis Crapstain. 
Uh, no, that's not going to be it. Uh, Commodore 64. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Commodore 64 is really getting it done. Oh, not with that role. <laughs> and uh, Calico. Uh, Calico misses this round. Top of the order, Leaf. Uh, you and the Minotaur. Mono Okawo. Muted. Mute. Again. Mute. 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 I'm sorry. 19. 19 hits. The love of a family is for. Oh, yeah. Uh, 15. Damage. That is going to put him down, but, but we tie. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm swinging at you. It's never a good thing. I can say that. No, I know it. I'm a soft shell, too. No fang. No fang. 10 Mr. plus 6, 16. <laughs> Mr. Scurvy. Yay, nay. He hey. is 16. Ooh, 11, 5, 4. 20 hit points of damage. Oh. <laughs> St still up yes I healed, uh, I right back to where I healed him from I'm just going to run away from the entire fight right now You get the, Minot the Minotaur hits you as Leaf hits the Minotaur bringing him down to the deck blood begins to pool out underneath the body however to the ground Felix there is a fire yep Use as the, the blood to put out the fire. As Ooh. the Constance is interlocked with the harlot. Uh, the sailors are doing their best. They're going to need some assistance. Everybody roll performance as Copious V. Bitters the Third reaches the top rung and spits out a water spout onto the deck. 824. Uh, Argus got a three. I got a 10. Yeah. 19. No, uh, Robert and Felix, give me a D10, please. Each. Oh, no. Die 10. Nope. Nine. Every 10. Uh, along with the help of the other sailors, you managed to uh, 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 dislodge the constants, which Uh, and begins to sink underneath. Uh, the small fires along the nose of the harlot are quickly administered to with the pea buckets by the sailors. Uh, Robert, give me a perception check. Uh, 18. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's a really catchy tune. <laughs> uh, with the end of day 11, uh, who wants to roll against me to see if the other two Minos ships come back? I'll roll. D12. D12-ing. We roll. Thank God. Ugh. The Mino ships do not appear to notice that they have lost their prize, the Constance, uh, and they continue to sail off. Uh, Commodore 64 breathes a sigh of relief. Uh, Man Fang slash No Fang. The Tabaxi walks up to you one more time and backhands you in the face. Back. She's going to kill me. Uh, does the 16 hit you? Yes. Yes. I think you pissed her off, Bo. You know, hit point of damage. I'm just going to say sorry really loudly and hope she doesn't kill me. That'll work. Uh, gentlemen, congratulations. You've made it through 11 days and you only caught fire to the ship once. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, you know what? Da na 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 na
<laughs> no fang final <laughs> thoughts <laughs> in the water and couldn't get up without help what hero needs help to be you know who the real hero is hey 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 Easy, easy, easy. And also yeah. gave the command to save Copious because he couldn't save himself. I think you need to change that song from Copious to Felius. And then I'll have it stuck in my head. I'll, I'll, go, ahead. I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and say that that is Robert's final thought. <laughs> uh, Man Fang, you got anything yeah. to add? <laughs> I, I, um, you hate that song, don't you? You hate it or you ground it. No, 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 no. Felix, what do you think? I kind of like the idea of changing that from Copious to the Felix song. And the sailors that I threw the line to, I think that they might be agreeable with that. Persuade me times two. Times two. There's two of them. Well, one of them is definitely not agreeable. If there's <laughs> one, the other one uh, has an 18. Can I help his persuasion? Felix with... does have a. Uh, Felix does have a nice ring to him. Uh, what do you think, Frank Senior? I think Don Juan needs to take a cold shower down there. You mean? <laughs> yeah. Felix Clap? <laughs> yeah. Between, enough. between him and No Fang, I don't know. I don't know which is in worse shape. Oh, about to die. Uh, <laughs> folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Margu campaign. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to oddfish dot, or oddfishgames.com for. Uh, currently sponsoring us who knows after this mess uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our crap go ahead it's optional uh but there's some good stuff in there uh if you want a seat on the table which is the most important thing let us know uh we got a talk show on tuesday coming up uh i think we might have a partial one shot on thursday uh and saturday is probably going to be the uh other campaign and they are in for a surprise for all of us here at murder hobo inc uh thank you very much for joining us uh, have a safe rest of the weekend i hope you still have all your appendages uh let's wave wash our hands and uh say goodbye Producer. Uh -oh.